I hope that you are all well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to explore and we're going to explore a building form that I love. And when I was in Paris, we visited the Louvre Museum and I knew that I would love the artwork, but I did not realize how much I would enjoy the architecture especially the pyramid outside the Louvre. So I've got a picture here where you can see the pyramid and behind it is the Louvre Museum. And I have another photo here and this is coming through the Lion's Gate, which is a corridor. And in this photo you can see one of the smaller pyramids and the larger pyramid. And behind is the Louvre Museum again. So today I thought it would be fun to make a model of a pyramid. We probably won't finish the whole thing, but we'll get a good start on it. And while we're doing it, we'll learn a few things about pyramids. So let me show you what we'll use. So I am going to build my pyramid from bamboo skewers. If you do not have bamboo skewers, you can use anything that you have handy. You could make those rolls of paper that we've made before and use those to build the pyramid. A ruler, a pencil, possibly a pair of scissors, some kind of glue. I'm using a hot glue gun again, just because it dries quickly and that will help us to work faster. So the first thing I did was I measured my bamboo skewers to 24 centimeters and then I also measured at 12 centimeters. I cut them on both of those lines so that I have skewers that are 12 centimeters long. What we're going to do now is make the base of our pyramid. So the base of a pyramid can have anywhere from three sides on up. We're going to do a square based pyramid. So we're going to make a square. So my base is done and pyramids have sides that are triangles. So we're going to glue the sides on, the edges of the sides on, and have them all meet in the center. And hopefully we can do this quickly. So I'm going to glue the two in the middle together, then I'm going to add the other two. And if I have to, I will glue the bases down after I get that center part done. We'll see how this goes. As we know, sometimes things are a little more difficult than we'd like them to be, but a little persistence usually pays off. Just going to put a dab of glue there to just hold it all together. So at this point I have the square base done and I have all four sides. I have the framework for all four sides on and glued together in the center. Now, actually, I'm going to try to keep the glue off of my tabletop. And we're going to start gluing the sides on. So we're going, I'm going to Build the sides
the base of the pyramid is the largest. As we go up, the size of the pieces that we'll need will get smaller and smaller. And I found the thing that's easiest to cut these with, for me at least, was pair pliers. So the base is on and the first row of the sides are on. So let's measure to there. And I'm going to attach the next one. There we go. So let's see. If I had measured perfectly well when I made my original skewers, they would all be, all the sides would be the same size and I would just be able to measure one side and know that they're all going to be the same and then I could cut all four pieces for each of the sides but I know that my measurements are not that exact. So what I'm going to do is measure each side just to make sure sides go on right and like I said I'm not going to do the whole thing I just want us to get an idea of what a pyramid is like and while we're building maybe we could think about some of the benefits of a pyramid building over other buildings so I know we often think of pyramids as being in Egypt, but actually civilizations all over the world have built pyramids. So what's so special about pyramids? As we're building it and I'm trimming more and more of these pieces to build the pyramid, it becomes obvious that a lot of the weight on a pyramid is at the base of the pyramid. So that actually creates a sound structure. So it's got that wide base it gets narrower as you go upward so there's less weight toward the top so most of the weight is down at the bottom that's going to help your structure stay upright Now, like I said, we're not going to get the whole thing done here, I don't think. I'll have a general idea. of how 
to build your pyramid. So I think we are gonna wrap this up. So this is as far as I got with our pyramid. So we've got the lower ones. I put a couple in the middle and one closer up to the top. I think from this we can see definitely the benefits of the pyramid. So it's got the wide base which is going to make the structure secure. As it goes upward it meets in that central point which makes each of the sections smaller as you go up. So the top of your structure is bearing less weight than the bottom of the structure is. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of pyramids and I hope that you will try building a pyramid for yourself. We'll be back next week with a book video and some create videos. And until then, I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore your world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you.